If you don't want to learn all the process of making up this title, you can just quickly click on the link provided in the description below as well as in the comment section. I have that comment pinned. So you can just click on that link and get this title for free as well as you can pay to support this channel and me. Let's get into it. So, hey guys, and today I'm going to tell you how to make this kind of text effect. This is the colorful text effect radial in which it is happening in a circular or spherical motion, whatever you want to say. And I'll also tell you how to create this rectangular uh, colorful text effect. Okay. By the way, I like that ellipse will move. I like both of them. Both of them can be used in different scenarios. So let's get into it. Okay. So here I have this file. I'll just do full screen window so that you have a better view. This is the rectangular one. And this is the circular one or the radial one. I'll just quickly change my timer resolution from 4K to full HD. I'll go to playback and I'll go to render cache and here I'll click on user. And now I have this red line over here. So, and it's turning to blue, which means that it is caching. It's, it will play smoothly. So here are the rectangular one and here this is the spherical one. So which one you want to render first? Let's go to rectangular one. Okay, so I'll go to my fusion tab. It's that simple guys. It's just these nodes and these nodes are also instance nodes. So you don't have to do anything. I'll just quickly disable all these nodes so that I can explain in this text effect. You just have to play with the spline. Nothing else. Okay. Again, I did the background, a text on it with the help of merge node. Pretty simple. If you have watched my previous tutorials, then you know, this step is obviously pretty basic. Wrote something over here, shows a color nothing else understand the concept i want to create another color layer within this color layer or above this color layer whatever the heck it is and then i want to animate it that it's going upwards so how can we do that there's a way which we can do that if you have watched my previous videos again i'm saying this then you know that i have used these mask tools over here which are present here rectangular mask tool ellipse tool polygon and etc etc so to create that rectangular effect that the color is going from this place to this or whatever place or position it's going. But we can do that with the rectangular tool. Okay. That's one thing for sure. But how to do that? And to get that color, we can take this text, copy this text, paste this text over here. All right. Then I'll just quickly do dual viewer option and I'll show this. I'll change the color of it to something like orange maybe. Yeah. And then if I take this rectangle and mask this text and obviously you can animate this rectangle. If I do something like this, like I'll just quickly decrease the height to zero. Mask uh, animated and then go few frames forward and then increase the height. Okay, so what do we have here? We have something like this. To create a color within this text, I'll again take these two nodes, copy it and then paste it. Now, I'll take this color and change it to maybe blue. All right. If I take this text and merge it with this text. So what do we have over here? I have this text, which is above this text, which is the blue one. All right. For example, if I don't have this rectangle, delete it. Okay. So I have this text. This is the background text. Okay. So this is blue background text. But if I merge it. So I have this orange text because I have this orange text above it. Now, if I play, man, you have this kind of effect. I'll just also increase its width because it was not covering this dot. So how is this possible? See, this is our base layer. This is our foreground layer. Now we are masking this foreground layer. Okay. 
we are masking this foreground layer on this base layer and then this kind of effect is created now we have to replicate this effect many a times in order to achieve in order to achieve this kind of text effect which you are seeing right here okay but that still not possible because if you'll just copy and paste these two nodes only then the settings of these two nodes will be copied as well which means i'll show you if i copy these okay control c copy control v paste and then again merge it uh change its color maybe to green this time i'll change its color to green light green merge it now what do we have we have this green effect now where that orange effect is gone actually it's not gone somewhere it's just that your animated properties of the green text and the orange text is same so you have to play with these settings and how do you do that you do that with spline editor so i'll just select these two rectangle nodes and then right click on it and hit edit splines or you can just click on spline over here it's totally up to you and now we have these two rectangle nodes selected i'll just quickly drag it over here so that we have all the space now the rectangle 2 which is our orange i'll quickly name those text by hitting f2 and typing the name again green mask and orange mask okay. so that it will be easier for you to differentiate between which is which okay so we have both the masks selected i'll click on this icon this is zoom to fit icon <laughs> obviously it's written over there then i'll select all of these and his button this is the smooth key you can either press this or you can hit ctrl f okay that's not working yeah you can hit either f or you can hit s these three will work to make your keyframes smoother now you have these handles so we will play with these handles okay i'll control zoom out and i'll also make it big we want to change we want to change the effect of this green mask so i'll uncheck this orange mask and now we have this green mask so what i want to do is i'll take the starting point of this green mask from where it is starting and with the help of alt now press and hold alt i'll zoom it a bit further sorry i'll remove the playhead now select this press alt press and hold alt and then move it in a horizontal way and as you can see if you have your node selected this keyframe is moving and we wanted that only i'll just move it till here and now if you see so we have something like this first that orange is happening then that green is following it and this is the effect which you have to do to every copy or paste which you are which you will be making or how many color effects like you want so if i show you for example like these rectangle nodes select these right click edit splines this is a um, i'll remove green mask so this is how i did it here i have all those masks and i just change its starting point i didn't change their ending point obviously because that i want to be same because i want all of those to close at a certain point close at the same point but i changed their starting point again to like tell you how i did this hold alt and then change and then change their the setting like as you can see if i am bringing it closer you can even see the keyframes man you can see how they're changing it's that simple seriously if you still don't understand just comment below i'll tell you i also have this one man so i'm gonna share everything over here i'll just delete these text nodes which i made i'll go to flaps and here we have the radial one now how to how i created this radial one pretty simple pretty basic 
I instead of putting those rectangles, I have the ellipse mask. It's that simple, guys. I'm not joking. Instead of the rectangle, instead of those rectangular masks, we have this ellipse mask. And boom, we have an effect like this. And as you can see, they are even increasing their speed constantly. That's all possible because of splines. For that ease and out effect, I already told you. You can choose, I'll select all of these. You can just smooth them out. And here also, as you can see, the ending point is same of all of these ellipse masks. But the starting is a little different. Okay. So all of these are few frames ahead of all of them. Like this yellow mask is starting from 25th frame. Yellow mask is starting from zero. Then we have this, which is blue. Then we have this blue color starting from 25 frame. Then we have this red from 75th frame. And then this green, I guess. Yeah, green we have from 23rd frame. And the last, again yellow. To make it a loop animation, we have this on 168th frame. Okay, and then again, select them all, smooth them out for that ease in and ease out effect. So that's pretty much it, guys. And this is how you create this kind of animation. And it looks good, man. I mean, just see, you have a simple text over here. I'll disable the slips. And you have this to the whole video. Instead of that, use this kind of animation to make your title even more cool more unique i mean just look at it it's so beautiful it's more engaging than a simple boring text so that's pretty much it guys i hope that you like this video and if you really did then do like the video subscribe to my channel and for more awesomeness hit the bell icon so that you never miss any upcoming videos and comment down below that brother things that I can improve to make you guys understand a bit more about this software that means resolve and I'll bring more more graph or text effects videos really soon. So till then peace out.